Hi guys, today on Divas Can Cook, we are taking fresh milk and we are turning it into this smooth and creamy homemade yogurt using our Instapot. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna start with some milk. I'm using some good old grass-fed organic whole milk. I'm gonna add this into my saucepan. Now, I like to start my um, Instapot yogurt on the stovetop. I just like to do it this way. If you wanna do yours in the Instapot, you can. All you have to do is hit that little yogurt setting right there, and it'll have boil. Mm -hmm. And it'll heat your milk up for you just like that, or you can just press this little saute button. Okay, and you can heat your milk up that way. But like I said, I like to do the stovetop method. It's quick, it's easy, I just like it, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and heat my milk up to about 180 degrees. And once it hit 180 degrees, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove it from the eye. And I'm gonna let it go ahead and just cool down. You can stir it up. You can place it in like an ice bath if you wanna cool it down really quickly. But I just leave it on my countertop and just kinda give it a few, you know, stir it up to kinda get it nice and cool. And then once it reach about 100, to 115 Fahrenheit, that's when it's cool, okay? I used to do about 110, all right? And now I'm gonna go ahead and remove that skin right there that had formed on the top. And now let's talk up, oh, they are so loud downstairs. My kids get crazy whenever I do voiceovers. I don't understand it. Okay, now we need a yogurt starter. So we're gonna use yogurt, okay? You can buy the freeze-dried yogurt starter if you want to, but it's so easy and quick just to use regular store-bought yogurt. Make sure it has those live active cultures because of that is what we need. We need them cultures, honey. And also make sure that it has no sugar added and it helps if the yogurt is as clean and pure as possible. No additives, none of that stuff. Just get you a nice, good, pure, wholesome yogurt. I like Faye. All right, now I'm gonna take some of that sterilized milk and place it into this little cup here, just like that, about a cup worth. And then I'm going to add just a about a quarter cup of that yogurt. You don't need a lot. And then once you have made this yogurt, you can use um, some of that yogurt as your starter. So you won't have to go out and buy yogurt. Okay, go ahead and just stir this up, mix it on around, and make sure that whatever yogurt you decide to use, that you really like it because this is what your yogurt is gonna be tasting like. Whatever starter yogurt that you use, that's what it's gonna taste like. So make sure that you really like that particular brand. Okay, now we're just gonna stir that little yogurt mixture into our milk. We have all those live cultures in there and they are ready to get busy and start our yogurt process. So I'm gonna pour this mixture into my Insta pot, just like that. And now I'm going to hit that yogurt setting right here. We're not gonna boil it, we done that. We don't wanna do 24 hours, we want eight hours. You could do 24 hours if you wanted to, but I do eight. Put that lid on and honey, you are done. Clean up and go to bed. Good night. I always do this at nighttime. I like waking up to yogurt. It makes me feel like I've accomplished something, you know? Okay, so it's the next morning. I'm going to remove that lid and yeah, mm-hmm. It's ready. Take it out. Let me show you guys. Okay. There it is. Now, if you want to check to make sure that it is ready, it will be nice and jiggly. Nice and jiggly. And it'll also pull away from the sides. You see that? How it's kind of pulling away? Yeah, this yogurt is ready. Here's the texture. It's done. This is it. Once you chill it, it's gonna get firmer. You can add sugar, add fruit preserve, whatever. Or if you want it thicker, then you can strain it. This is optional, but sometimes I want a thicker yogurt, so this is what I do. Okay, so I was told to get one of these nut bags a long time ago so I can strain my yogurt. And let me show you why I don't like this nut bag. I know a lot of people use it for their yogurts, but ah, look at that. It is straining off that way. You want it to, you know, get rid of that liquid, that way that's in there. But it's also getting rid of my yogurt because look, you can see that it's like white. So yeah, it's not all way. And look at that. Mm -mm. So I don't know. This nut bag does not work. This is what works, honey. Okay, the old, I know it's old fashioned, it's old fashioned, it's old school, but I have found that using like a kitchen cloth, this just does so good at straining yogurt because all you get is that nice, light, yellow, clear whey. That liquid gold, that's what I call it. And there it is right there. See how it's nice and clear instead of being like milky and cloudy like before? So yeah, it works perfect. Let me know if you use another device to, um, you know, strain your yogurt because this way is kind of messy I don't really like it but it works so that's why I use it okay so I'm gonna let it drain until it um, reaches my desired thickness you can let it drain longer the longer that it drains the thicker it's gonna be so don't do it too much now you're gonna have like cream cheese on your hands it's gonna be very very thick I like this texture because it's also gonna firm up more so I'm gonna add my whey nice my beautiful clear whey I love that I'm gonna add it to a jar I use this 
on my hair. I use this on my skin. I put it in my bath. Some people drink it and cook with it, but it's, it's gold. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, my yogurt is, I'm going to go ahead and remove it from this little um, kitchen cloth thing, place it in a container. Look at how nice and thick and creamy. And it's going to thicken up even more as it sets okay but that's a good texture right there I love that texture perfect okay so we're gonna chill it and when it comes out of the fridge this right here is my favorite texture for yogurt it's nice and thick and it hugs the spoon mm -hmm. I like it to hug the spoon I like it to be that texture right there not super thick really soft and creamy and yeah just like that and that is it we are done you can sweeten it with sugar or honey or fruit preserves I always leave the main you know my main container plain I don't add anything to it and then I just add whatever I want to my individual servings and that's it that's what I do with my yogurt I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos later